uh, today I'll be talking about love and I know that I've shared in one of the previous videos about how important I feel is the idea of self-love. Uh, it's just, it's a mind-boggling observation that a lot of times we get into relationship with others to resolve our feelings with our own self. In fact, a lot of times people enter into relationships because they are scared of, of loneliness. What is loneliness? Loneliness means to be able to hear your own self. Why are people scared of spending time with themselves? What's wrong in that? Why are we terrified of our own inner selves? If we can't live with our own selves, then how can we imagine that somebody else would like to make that life choice of living with us? So I feel it's crucial to be able to develop that understanding with our own selves. Love essentially means inclusion. When we include someone and when we decide to care, to take care of the other person, their dreams, their desires, their needs, when we include them with, into us, that's love. If we can't include our own self into that privileged position of self-nourishment and care, how can we include anybody else? So the idea that how it's extraordinarily important to face your shadow and your light and there cannot be any, sh any light without shadow and shadow without light. So all of us have variety of things in us and we can't run away from ourselves. One must sh face oneself. So that's my idea. For a lot of time, I feel that... <sighs> I think that in my own life, I, it, it took me a while to resolve my inner battles. And even now, there are times when I surprise myself with some knots. And that journey has has clarified it for me that it's super important to have a beautiful relationship of love with oneself and with this more bliss and more self-love to you and let's just revise that self-love does not mean narcissism self-love means to take care of yourself just the way you would take care of somebody who you love just that have a beautiful beautiful life ahead